Hello, in this next part, we're going to improve further our fence tool. So I'm going to now focus on adding for blank variation so we could choose what style of blanks we are using now. So first of all, we need to create some geometry to do that. So we're going to go into our tool and here we have our blank model or logic. So I have just a box, bevel and then centering that. So I want to create a variation and I'm just going to copy the nodes here. So I'm going to copy the box and the bevel. So let's create some space here as well and hold the alt key for copying them. So now I have this. So let's say I want to create a version that's sort of like a bit sort of like broken with a bit more like crooked shapes and things like that. So I'm going to use some noising to achieve that. And I'm going to keep it quite simple. So we have our box here. And the box itself already has a few divisions, as you can see. So if the type is set to polygon mesh, we can add some axis divisions here. So 3, 3, 3 in my case. So I need extra divisions to add some noise there. So if I would now type in jitter noise, I can now add some jitter here. So by default, this will probably be too extreme. So we're going to have to change the scale, for example. So let's start by 0.3. Now we also want to change the scale for each axis. So the main noise I want to be in the Y axis. So the Y axis in Houdini here is the up axis. So if I, for example, would fill in here zero and zero in the X and the Z, we don't have any noises in those directions and only here have noises on the top and the bottom of my plank. So we can still add some like small variation here. It's will be very subtle. Like you could see like it's not a perfect line anymore. It's like having a little bend here. And we can also, of course, play around with the seed here. So we have a very simple approach here of creating a bit more crooked. Now the bevel itself will also still work here on this geometry. So we will bevel these edges. And it might be interesting here in the bevel to play around with the angle value. So here this is enabled to so ignore flattened edges. So it will ignore certain flattened areas like you could see. Like it's like it is ignoring these flat areas for beveling. So if I play around with the slider, we can then change where bevels happen on my geometry. So lowering this value will probably help a bit here. So that is, for example, my flank. So now let's think about building that system so we can have that in our menu. So ideally what I want is I would like to have a certain slider toggle or menu so I can actually choose what plank version I would like to see. So the way we're going to do this is here typing in switch node and we with the switch node we will be able to switch between different node networks so here let's plug that in and then we have the switch node so based on the value here so the input so zero is the first input then one here is my second input and we can go further but it will give us a warning that there's not enough inputs to go beyond that so we only have here zero and one so this value I would love to expose to my menu. So let's go here to Assets, Editor Properties, and open that menu. So we're going to make sure here we are in our Parameter tab, and we're going to create a parameter now. So in the Switch node, we're going to here grab our selecting of inputs and drag it into our menu. So we can press Apply, and it's now linked. So we can give this a better name like for example select plank or plank style and press apply and now i have a slider here to control the different plank styles so i can now have more broken up planks or the perfect planks so again i cannot go further than one since i'm not supporting that but let's also play around here with some of the values 
So since we only have two planks, maybe a toggle can be useful. So let's change the type from integer to a toggle. So the toggle has only two values, so zero and one, on or off. So we can also change the name then to, uh, for example, just crooked plank. And press apply. So whenever I turn this then on, we have like the crooked or broken planks. When this is off, we just have then our normal planks. So this can also be very interesting if you need to switch between certain node graphs, you can have a toggle to switch between certain nodes. Now, let's say I'm going back into my network and I've actually have three different planks. So let's say you have, for example, I copy this with Alt key here again, and I have a third input. So with the switch node, we can input multiple nodes, node networks. And currently I'm using a toggle, which is only supporting uh, two uh, networks here. So let's say you have this plank and maybe change the plank a bit. So let's say we do the beveling only at the top part. So I'm going to go here and grab my uh, edges here at the top, select those, press enter. And I'm also going to increase the distance or, or the beveling amount by going here to distance and I'm going to remove the divide by 10. So now we have a plank shaped like that. We can also go here and increase the divisions, for example, to make it like a round plank. So now I have three versions, a perfect plank, uh, the crooked one, and also with a round top. So now let's go back here to our scene and grab our menu here. So we now have three different types of planks and I would love to actually then use a menu option here. So first step is actually converting this back to an integer. So we're going to just say this is actually an integer. So we're going to press apply. And we also might change the name to then plank style. So with that now set as integer, we then have the option here to use a menu. So we can enable menu. There are different types of menu, but often we're just going to use the first one. And then in the menu, we then have a token and a label. So the token will be the value. So let's say zero is then the, the default plank. The default plank number one or input one is then my crooked plank. And number two is then that round plank. So the more inputs you have, the more you will have to assign this. And you can also, again, you type in the name for the menu. So press apply. And now I have this drop down menu. So the exact thing that I typed in here will be also seen here, of course. So let's test that out. So if I now switch to the crooked plank, we now have this. If I switch to the round version, we now have that. So this can be very useful again if you need to cover a different variety of for example like different styles or different inputs so you could switch to different types of things and that was what i wanted to show in this video is to create here a small menu so you can choose what type of plank we would like to see in our menu so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching